On January 19th, 2023, I was able to move into my first apartment ever, and this is how it went down. This is the damage. <laughs> Welcome to my empty apartment tour. watching me for a little minute now or if you know anything about me personally I have been dreaming of this day for years specifically towards my senior year of college I really started getting serious about my money and about what exactly I was going to do after college how I was going to plan for the future and most importantly how can I become the most independent version of myself I started planning out where I wanted to live who I wanted to be and unfortunately things took a turn at the end of the year and I ended up extending this idea of living alone for probably Probably a year or two. I finally devised a plan on how I was going to be able to get my own place by March of this year. When I had apartment hunted last spring in 2022, a leasing agent had told me that the rent prices usually go up in the summer. So it was my ultimate goal to get a place around the same time that I had started hunting the previous year the following year. So once the end of 2022 started nearing, I knew my time was running out, so I started my apartment hunt immediately. By the middle of January, I decided to call one last person in my apartment hunt. Throughout this whole process, it completely slipped my mind that my high school friend was actually a leasing agent. I ended up calling her and scheduling an appointment with her to apartment hunt, and I found the complex. It had the necessities, but I still wasn't completely sold on the place. So that night I went to my dad's house and asked him what he thought about it. My dad was the push for getting the apartment and I actually ended up applying that night. I'm turning into a woman. I'm about to hit send. By submitting this payment, you're authorizing to electronic debit account. You selected for two payment transactions. What if it's just like, deny? It's <laughs> 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 like, bro, bitch. <laughs> just like, it's just big letters. <laughs> unable to make a screening decision at this time. Does that just mean I have to talk to a person? Well, yeah, I mean, they're not gonna prove it right away. Oh. Yay! I'm an adult. This was completely off of impulse. I wasn't planning on moving until March of this year, but the opportunity just presented itself far too well. And the longer I would wait, the more the prices would fluctuate, so I knew now was the time to lock in. After applying a short night later and I was approved, I was officially moving into my apartment in less than a week and I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I had gotten everything last minute, security deposits, veterinarian papers, you name it, I was scrambling for it within the week that I had to move in. But I got it done and it has been about a month since I've lived here. I pretty much have everything set the way that I want to. I still have like one or two more things to build, but I've always wanted to be able to take you guys along the process of me getting my first place and I'm so excited that the day has finally come. So enjoy the chronicles of a 20 something figuring their life out and and inhabiting their first apartment. What's good you guys and welcome to moving day. It is a little bit hectic in my house right now. I decided to move everything out of my room. I was using that room and also my room to store the majority of my things for this apartment. I have been storing the stuff in my dad's house for probably two years now and today is finally the day that it's going to see the light of a new space. I'm currently getting over a cold, which is probably the worst case scenario. It's raining, another worst case scenario, hence the jacket. We're just fighting against the odds today, okay? I am going to try my best. I'm by myself right now. My friend Amaya later on is coming to help me clean and move some stuff. I tried to deny her help a couple of times, but she asked me again today and I was like, actually girl, I kind of need it. I'm gonna try to move as much of this as I can to my car. I'm only taking one car. My parents aren't gonna be able to help me until probably this weekend. And with my work schedule and everything, it's kind of just up in the air. This wasn't planned. This was like basically an impulse last minute decision, but one of the best that I've had in a very long time to get this apartment. So I didn't plan around it. I didn't take off for this. I just so happened to be off today so I can spend the whole day doing this, which I'm really excited about. My mom later on tonight is gonna help me move my mattress into my apartment. I bought one. I asked her to come with me last week to get it. It's your beret for me. It's your beret for me. This one's hard. Girl. That one hurts. This one is the block. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> okay, I remember it being in a box, so those are not it. These are it. Oh, 
Oh Lord, <laughs> you can't even get the, the topper. <laughs> I just ordered a Hovit mirror from Ikea yesterday, which if you guys do not know is like the most sought after mirror in Ikea. I've wanted it for so many years and every time I'm gonna buy it just for impulse, just to save, it's always out of stock. And the one time I'm actually moving, it's actually in stock. So I bought it yesterday. So this is the damage that I've done in this area that was once clean. Everything that I've been keeping at my dad's house, purses in there. So I just took out some unnecessary clutter from my trunk and tucked it away. And I'm gonna take as much as I can from this pile and put it in my car. I do have a cough drop in my mouth and I'm probably gonna have one in my mouth periodically through this video, so I'm sorry. But it's the only way I can get a voice for you guys. I do have to go to the bank to get a cashier's check to pay up my upfront costs. Did you guys know the bank charges you $15 for a cashier's check? Adulting is wild, but this is one of my last steps. I set up my renter's insurance. I set up my BG&E. I'm feeling really grown. I'm feeling really stressed. I had to get a ton of papers for Lucky, vaccination records, stuff like that. I decided to move less than a week ago, and the day is here. Um, this opportunity kind of just fell into my lap. I wasn't planning on moving this soon, but I'm so excited to hop on the opportunity when I did. I toured the actual unit that I'm living in the other day, and I am in love. The unit that I saw in the beginning versus the unit that I actually have are night and day, to me at least. Everything is flipped. It's just everything. I'm in love with the apartment. I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get to it. I'm kind of scared, but I'm gonna try to put as much away as possible, so. It is currently 11.27 a.m., kind of getting a late start, but like I said, I'm getting over a cold. I kind of didn't want to overexert myself, so I'm gonna try my best to put as much of this as I can in my little Hyundai Sonata. It's about an hour later. Way better, if I do say so myself, for me moving everything on my own. My car is pretty decently sized, definitely bigger than my last, but it's not a truck, not an SUV. So I think I'm just gonna leave all this heavy lifting to my dad whenever he can help me. Packed up all my cleaning supplies, most of the things from here. I'm gonna go to my mom's house later on today and see what else I can feel like picking up and taking there. I do feel a little bit better than I did when I first woke up. I took some cold and flu medicine, so I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm still congested, still not 100%. So for me not being 100%, I think I did pretty okay. So I'm on my way to the bank, about to go downstairs and head out. Gonna go to the bank, get my cashier's check, and then head to my apartment and grab the keys. Well, know me though. Cute. <laughs> I'm like, that's the one. It's the hair, it's the outfit. Wait, give us the outfit, please. Outfit of the day. Do a spin, give us a spin. <laughs> Or should I see it so I can make sure I, I Yeah, it. yeah, you see it. You got it? It's gonna be shaking regardless, but let's go. Are you recording already? Yes. Oh, shit. Why are you whispering? <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, guys. The light's nice. Okay, good. Your skin's glowing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I try. Welcome to my empty apartment tour. This is the door. Yes. And then it's like little entryway. Yes. And then you have the little entryway. Open this door and we got my bathroom. I think she said these are cherry wood, so cherry wood cabinets, counter space. It does have a medicine cabinet, which is really cool. Big mirror, and then I got my shower. Has a tub. Didn't realize how poor that was until I started looking for apartments. A lot of them have like just walk-in showers, so I'm glad I have a tub because I'll be taking baths. A towel rack here, towel rack up there, toilet paper rack, and then I think this is for towels maybe. Um, and then I also have a linen closet, which the first unit that she showed me did not have one, so I'm really excited to put some storage in there because I have a lot of shit for my bathroom. Toilet, I think I'm gonna do something on top of here. It looks too bland for me, so I think I'm gonna do something over there. But this is the bathroom. You know what I just noticed? Where is the air thingy? 
I feel like I need to find one, but there's a bed right there. So I feel like maybe there is one. I'll ask my auntie later. Okay, that's the bathroom. And then coming over here, this is the kitchen. You guys know I have a lot of stuff, so hopefully I can fit everything in these cabinets. I think these are electric stoves. And then I got a oven. And then over here, just got a full-size fridge. Finally, my own fridge. I'm so excited. I've been sharing fridges ever since I entered college. So I'm excited to have my own fridge and my own freezer. It has a little ice maker, very important. And then I actually got a Brita for my dog. So now he's gonna be bougie and he's gonna be drinking filtered water. And this closet over here is just a coat closet for extra storage. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff in there. And then the one next to it, the built-in washer and dryer. In unit, very important. I needed this for my life. Deep sink, love that for me. And then, my might also notice that I have a retractable nozzle. And then, these come in all the apartments. It's just built in like a wine rack. Got a washer, got a dishwasher. I'm so excited. I'm gonna say, do I have a light? No. I'm gonna have to get a lamp in here. I saw one that I came out really like, but this is the kitchen. And this is not the kitchen. Like, just kidding, it's not the kitchen, JK. <laughs> <laughs> This is the living room. Has two. <laughs> this is the living room. Got two really big windows here. Lets in a lot of natural light. And then I'm trying to figure out my setup of this. Gonna put some bar stools over here because I don't want to get a dining room table. Couch, bookshelf because I have a lot of books. Hang up my TV. You guys will see that in the upcoming videos. Oh, thermostat. We need that. We need that. This is the bedroom again with the really big windows. Um, pretty decent size. I wish it had overhead lighting, but it doesn't, but it's okay because I do have a lot of lamps that I need to bring in here. What? So the ceiling is throughout the entire apartment. It has like silver plated tops. And then if you can see, each one has like the industrial, I don't know what this is called, but it's like an air vent that goes through the entire apartment. This closet actually does have a light, so you'll be able to see it here. This is like a walk-in closet. It's a walk-in closet for the area that I'm in. It's pretty decent. Um, I can fit underneath it. This is the closet. Hopefully I don't break it. And it will be good enough for, I think I can probably put a dresser in here. Probably put some shelves in here. But that is it for my apartment tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to show you guys everything that comes along with the apartment. I have like a lot of little projects that I want to do in here, so I'm excited to show you guys. But this is the empty apartment. And yeah. Little bush. Okay, this is all my stuff at my mom's house currently. I forgot to bring my camera. We just unpacked the car, got something to drink and eat, and now we're at my mom's house. I'm about to pick up the mattress. Lucky's going to the bathroom. <laughs> Say hello. What? <laughs> Why? Okay, did you see my doormat, mom? No. It's gonna make you proud. Bitch, don't wear no shoes, my. I saw that, <laughs> and it's crazy because when I saw that, it must have been some time last year. I thought about you. I said, Brittany will put something like this on the door. And I have it. the bedroom. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out and we're gonna measure and see how much of this room it takes up. Can I come out the corner? <laughs> yeah, yes. come out the corner. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> look, look. Drinky, drinky. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I am amazed. What are you even doing? All, this, oh. All right, let's see how big this bed is. Ah! Pull the box. Ah! Yeah, we did out far. <laughs> Shit. Um, this just unwraps. Ah! Oh, I do Lord. think it takes like a few hours for it to fully um. Yeah, like get up. Flat as a pancake. You hear it doing what? What is it supposed to do? It's 
Everyone left my apartment. It's just me. I am taking it all in right now. Now that I'm the only one in here, I'm going to unbox some of my stuff. Still down in those cough drops today. My voice is going in and out, but I am super excited to have my own place. I'm like having a realization now that I'm alone and like no one's in here. I haven't brought my dog yet to see the place. I probably won't bring him until Sunday or Monday. Um, because I'm off those days and I'll have enough time to get him acclimated with the area and kind of look around but for right now I'm just gonna take some stuff out the boxes I might put some stuff away in the cabinets but I'm not going to have them set in stone just because the next time I come I want to wash everything and do all of that stuff this is kind of just to get the clutter out of the way try to take most of the stuff out the boxes and put some stuff away Temporarily. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a mood body giving sin views. I'm just saying I'm a mute. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted it up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know, ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try to hard. Number one fan your side your plot Got me think about inside the walls Words cut deep, it's like a swat Making me better, you hotter than pepper, mm hmm mm hmm You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar, mm hmm mm hmm All of these women, they not on your level, mm hmm mm hmm You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm hmm mm hmm You a move, body giving seen a fuse I'm just saying I'm a mule But you ain't even flexing and you cool, tatted it up, cover warm, different vibe, you know ain't for what you ain't even got I just got everything in from the car. You could say I've been anticipating this is an understatement, honestly. I feel like this piece goes inside of here. It was, it was a journey.